Good evening, everybody. What's up? <laughs> um, uh, I was supposed to film this in the morning, and then I didn't. <laughs> I slept in and then went to my hair appointment, but my hair looks so much better. Thank God. So we had a good day. I also went, did a little shopping, and hung out with a friend, so that was great. Um, we're gonna go get mail for the third time. So that's gonna be fun. Uh, I it sounded really sarcastic, but it will be fun. <laughs> um, Quilson's in his house. Maybe let's go see him. I want to give him a present. Knock, knock. Just staring longingly at your fish. Where did... Do they put their DIY benches away when they're not DIY? I guess he did. Do all of them do that? When it's time to sit down and do some writing, there's nothing better than my rattan low table. Wondering what it is I'm writing? I'll leave that to your imagination. That sounded dirty. Yo, you want to chat? I don't blame you. Let's talk. So how did you do in the big eval? You know, the happy home inspection. I'm pretty happy with mine. I don't want to say best in show, but I know we're all thinking it. Can Guys, what is the thing with gifts? Can I not give them gifts in their house? Does he have to be outside? You got something for me? Yeah, I guess we can't. Okay, what are you going to say? I should really be getting to know people here a little better, starting with you. Am I right or am I right? I'm right. Let's see, Cheyenne. Where should we begin? I've got a life-altering question for you, Cheyenne. Ready? Oh, yes. Wilson. What is your favorite food? Um, guys, what should I say? I could... See, everyone's doing really funny things online, but I don't have any funny ideas. So we'll just give him my real answer. Which is... Which is I don't know. <laughs> what is my favorite food? Maybe sushi? Yeah, I guess sushi. Sushi! I wonder if the answers, like the preset answers in different languages are different foods. They must be, right? You said sushi, yeah? Yeah! Mmm, sounds good. I know what my next meal is gonna be. A little sushi with a side of delicious sushi. <laughs> Topped with even more sushi. What can I say? When I commit to something, I commit. <laughs> Alright, Wilson. Well, I guess I have to give them gifts outside of their home? Maybe? I don't really know how all of this works, but I just want to give him his present. Oh, so I was at the hair salon this morning, and um, I suddenly realized while he was, like, dyeing my hair uh, that I hadn't done any, that I hadn't bought my turnips for today. So I just suddenly went, <gasps> and he like, looked at me, he's like, what? <laughs> what? And then I explained to him, because we were already talking about um, Animal Crossing. I don't remember the word he used for the turnip lady, though. It was like I really... Just something I didn't recognize at all. Because we were talking in Japanese. Um, and then I was like explaining about it. But I still have <laughs> no idea what... Um, what exactly it was that he said. But, I mean, I knew the meaning of what he said. Of course, he was talking about, like, Daisy May and her turnips. 
but I just never heard that vocabulary before. Um, anyway, that was not the point <laughs> of this conversation. What was the point? Oh, yeah, so I was talking to him about it, and then he, like, I had brought my Switch to play with my friend in the town that I went to, so I was like, oh yeah, it's in my purse. And then he, like, literally brought me my purse over and I bought turnips while he was dyeing my hair. So that's the kind of commitment we have. You're inviting me to camp on your island? Me? Hmm. I need to give this some thought. I kid, I kid. That sounds fabulous. I'm practically on my way right now. You are. You are on your way. You're already there. Now that we did the thing. <laughs> But I just thought that was really funny. He doesn't play the game, but everybody kind of knows about it right now. Because everybody's playing it. Everywhere. Um. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> I don't know. I can't. Uh, I redid my dig site. What do y'all think? I don't know. I feel like it's better than before, but I thought maybe about changing it instead of a dig site, just being like a f flower area, but like a more naturally growing flower area. Like those are like garden gardens, but I mean that'd be more like wildflowers on like a couple different, like on two tiers, but I don't know. I need to get rid of these. We'll see. I like the dig site idea, but I don't know if it's just if it's just not the vibe of my island or what. You got a lollipop today. What's up? I like how it's like the quacking noise too in the um, theme song plays. This island is simply stunning. I don't know what to say except thank you for inviting me. Please excuse my excitement. It's just so delightfully overwhelming, duckling. To be honest, darling, I wouldn't have thought camping like this would suit me. After all, I usually loathe to go without basic min- Ugh. We heard this literally yesterday, girl. No, this duck isn't about to let a little, f little fresh air and unkempt wilderness keep her from adventure. But you're right, it's not, because it, it didn't yesterday either. <laughs> Something unique to impress my friends. Perhaps a souvenir to prove I was here. I've got it! Oh, yeah, sure. I wanted another cool DIY mail. But that's fine. We'll make you pond stone. And then you'll move in. Uh, she's gonna move in. Oh, we have to say goodbye to Tipper, I think. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, she's gonna move in, um, to Tipper's house. So we'll have to say goodbye to Tipper. No, that's really sad. Oh, cool. I got that today off the beach. Um. Yeah, and I was thinking like. I don't know, what do y'all think? I, I decided to only have two non-duck villagers on my... Alfonso, what are you doing? Oh, he's so cute when he does that. I love it. You gonna run into me? <laughs> Just right around me. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So, like, I have Annabelle and Keaton as my two non-duck villagers because I bought eight amiibo cards but I was thinking about maybe after I finish the amiibo card process trying to get them to move out or if they ask to move out before that like I'll let fate decide maybe but I don't know what do y'all think Annabelle I love her but I could probably easily let her go not easily but Easier than Keaton. Keaton, I don't know if I can say goodbye. <sighs> but I don't want I don't want it to be all the ducks and Keaton. Like 
if I were to move out Annabelle, I would also move out Keaton. I wouldn't want to do one and not the other, if that makes sense. Um, that's just me, though. But, yeah. I haven't decided. Who asked to move out today? Oh, yeah, earlier today when I was just, like, doing some, like, daily walking around stuff. Uh, Miranda moved out. Uh, Miranda moved to... Miranda asked to move out. And I was super surprised. Um, you can customize a pond stone? Hold up. I want to know what that looks like. I really need to spend more time looking at crafting and customizing things. But yeah, Miranda... Oh, there's just white. Oh, mossy. The mossy is cute, though. I already have a pond stone. Here, let's just go switch out. We're gonna switch out my pond stones. And give her the basic one and put a customized one in its place. Um, anyway, I keep getting... It's like my brain is literally like overlapping many different conversations at the same time. Sorry guys. It's not abnormal. If you've gotten this far, <laughs> you know this. Um, still don't know what I was talking about. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> Miranda asked to move out, and I was like, should I... So there's, like, this method. Like, if you shut down your game while, like, just as you see that they're asking to move out... Um, but, like, you don't save it, and you close it, and then you go back into the game. <clears throat> it should move to a different villager. So I was wondering if I should do that, but I decided not to, and I just told her to stay, of course, because she's a duck. What are you doing over here, Pom-Pom? You look so peaceful. Are you sweeping my stone- my stepping stones for me? Or my deck? Just walking around with a broom for fun. Are you gonna go sweep your front porch? But you decided to take out your broom all the way over there <laughs> first. Seriously, what are you doing, girl? <laughs> and now you're walking that way? Where are you going? Is there another villager back there? Is that why? Yeah, Tipper is there. <laughs> Are they having like traffic jams back there? <laughs> Sorry, we're just gonna follow Pom Pom for a minute. See what. She keeps like stepping. She's social distancing. She's keeping a reasonable distance between her and Tipper while she <laughs> waits for Tipper to get out of the way. Oh, now she's coming back around. But Tipper just came out, Pom Pom. Are you just hanging out behind Quilson's house, being a stalker? Okay, we'll stop following her. Now we're stalking her, but that's fine. Oh, Tipper has blocked the entryway. Oh no, I guess not. Okay. Anyway. Not the point. I considered trying to get somebody else to move out, and then trying to go find, like do a Nook Miles hunt, Nook Miles ticket hunt for uh, another duck. But I feel like it's too soon. Like right now I still have two I have male and I have two more ducks and then I have the two like most important ducks. Oh, it didn't save when I was picking up peaches earlier. Okay, gotta do that again. Um, yeah, but I feel like it's too soon. Like, if I do that, I want it to be, like, kind of timed right. But I kind of want to let, like, somewhat fate decide <laughs> that. Um, but we'll see. 
I know that it's really random if they ask to move out, but I think there is something to do with like your friendship level. So, um, it might be hard to get Keaton and Annabelle to move out since I talk to them so much and I'm so close with them. I haven't talked to Annabelle so much recently though. Mostly just Keaton. Speak of the devil, hello. She's really cute, and I like her personality, but I don't know, guys. Should I go all in and commit to the Duck Islandness? <laughs> I think it would be fun to do a Nook Miles hunt as well. Because um, that's like the main way that everybody has been getting new villagers recently. Um, we'll see. Ooh, did you finish crafting my fab souvenir? Be a deer and don't drag this out. Tell me, duckling. Look at her eyes. She's like full puppy dog eyeing me. <laughs> so cute. It's ready. Here you go. All this authentic come on that well, goodness. My friends back home will be terribly impressed. These mementos for my journey, they'll forever hold a place, a special place in my heart and my home. Ooh. Thank you. I've been wanting that for my kitchen for a while, so. That's good. Sorry, I'm not reading all of her stuff, but. It's the same as Miranda, so. Oh dear, my collection would surely grow out of hand. Gro surely grow out of hand. That's not English. I mean, I guess it is English, but it's not correct English. <laughs> Surely grow out of control, duckling. Um, okay. Be right back in two seconds when you've put out the pond stone and then you ask to move in. And here we go. Oh, I just want to say, I got my hair cut today and then I hung out with my friend. And, um, at one point she looked at me and she was like, you look just like your Animal Crossing character. And I was like, yep, it's me. Same glasses, same hair. It's me. <laughs> Although my Animal Crossing character has much cuter clothes in general, I think. Okay, Mayo. Are simply exquisite. Thank you. I'm something of a collector, you know. So, I know a thing or two about these things, duckling. I can see it now. If I lived here, I would just go on and on expanding my collection. Yes, yes. Then move here. Do you mean it, darling? The both of us living here? Why, this island won't know what hit it, duckling. You and Miranda are going get, to get along great. Or maybe they won't get along because they're the same. Sorry to keep you waiting, my dear, but I checked with resident services and I have bad news. There isn't room on this island for a new home to be built. They turned down my request to live here. But I have an idea. Perhaps I could ask someone living here if they'd give up their place for little old me. Perhaps someone is looking for a change, you see. Change is good. That's a good idea. Alrighty then, I'll summon up my courage and ask someone. So, who do you think would be most likely to get on board with this plan, duckling? At resident services, they said these were these were the folks who might hear out hear me out on such a request. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Okay, sad day is sad. We have to say goodbye to Tipper. I found her like all of my other villagers on Anuk Miles Island, and I was really happy cuz she's very cute. But, oh, the sacrifices we must make. Tipper, is it? Yep. I shall go speak to them now, then. Hmm, I do hope they're up for it. In any case, I can be very convincing. So I had the chat. I shared my hopes, dreams, and love for this island, and they agreed to my idea, darling. They were very gracious. I think they were ready to try something new anyway. No offense, of course. She did ask to move out, 
like last week so that is technically true and i am meant to be here you are just like miranda you're literally next door neighbors <laughs> and you say the same things i really should have made sure that i didn't buy okay bye i'll see you in two days yeah i really should have made sure i didn't buy villagers of the same type <laughs> uh because it makes these things kind of repetitive but I don't know. They're both cute. I, I chose mostly based upon how like the villagers looked, like their cuteness factor, and then also um, based upon the price. Because uh, I didn't want to buy a lot of extremely outrageously priced amiibos. Hi, Miranda. Your new best friend is going to move in in two days. It does seem like I'm seeing a lot of you lately, doesn't it, babe? Let's chat. Tipper is packing up her belongings, you know. I know, Miranda. Sad. Honestly, I still can't believe she's leaving the island tomorrow morning. Just like that. Well, babe, I suppose it's better to miss Tipper than to not have known her at all. You're so wise, Miranda. That's true. It is better to miss Tipper than not to have known her at all. Let's go say hello or goodbye, I guess. No. Goodbye, Miss Thing. Oh, it's you. Pushy, I have I haven't told you, have I? There's no way to sugarcoat this, so I'll give it to you straight. I'm moving off the island tomorrow. I'm glad to have met you, and I will not forget you. Thank you for everything that you've done. No. Thank you, Tipper, for being a good friend. Can I lay on your... No, I can't. <laughs> it looks just like the cardboard bed, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Anyway. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to skip doing uh, any video about Mael tomorrow and instead start the new villager. And then I'll come back when Mael is in boxes and then have a video where I kind of like arrange her front porch area. And then I'll have another video where we see her interior and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I wanna see how that kind of flow works versus what I've been doing um, with the past three villagers. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about anything and everything. This video is kind of long, sorry. <laughs> but I feel like it was at least somewhat more interesting than some of the other ones I've been doing lately. So maybe that's good. But yeah, I hope you'll have... Oh my god, always do the wrong one. I hope you'll have a good rest of your day, wherever you are, whatever time it is. And I'll see you later. Bye bye